Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Talk. I'm Jill Winty, a realtor with Better Homes and Gardens, Gary Green, specializing in the spring Texas real estate market. On today's episode of Real Estate Talk, I want to talk about cash and why cash is considered king in real estate. Okay, so the scenario is you're a buyer and you are competing against other buyers for the purchase of this prime property. Well, nine of the buyers are just like you, coming in with financing, but the 10th buyer is coming in with cash. You then find out that the seller has chosen the cash buyer. And the question is, why did the seller not choose your offer when you're offering the seller the exact same amount as the cash buyer was? Well, there's a couple reasons as to why cash is considered king in real estate and why that seller chose cash. One, is this because cash can offer the seller a quicker close. With financing, the financing process lasts between 21 to 45 days. With cash, you can close as quick as 14 days, maybe even 10 days. Another one is it eliminates potential for financing not to come through. So up front, you have a pre-approval from your lender. That pre-approval is just that, it's a pre-approval. It's not final loan approval. So with cash, the seller already says, I- I've already got cash. I don't have any concerns about, we get down to the last minute and the buyer's agent or lender telling me that I'm sorry, I'm not able to give the buyer the loan. So your house is going back on the market. Another one is, is, is the appraisal. With, when you're buying with cash, there's no need for that buyer to go ahead and get an appraisal. The appraisal is a requirement of the lender. So let's say you agree to pay $200,000 for the house, but the appraisal comes in at one ninety-five. dollars Now you're asking the seller that, oh, I want you to take one ninety-five dollars now, otherwise I'm not buying the house. With cash, there's no appraisal. The seller knows he's going to get $200,000. Another one is as far as closing date. With cash, all you have to do is wire the funds, show up that day. With lending, well, if you're delayed in getting your information to the lender, if the lender gets backlogged for some reason, and then the date that you and the seller agreed to close on, you can't close because the lender hasn't gotten all his paperwork together and you're not able to close, Seller says, cash, I know I'm going to close on that day, or at least eliminates the whole thing about the lender screwing up potentially my closing date. So cash is king in real estate. I'm Jill Winty, and that's it for this episode of Real Estate Talk. I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'm all under Discover Spring Texas. And also jump over to our website of discoverspringtexas.com because we've got a lot of great content over there for you too. Until next time.